<laughs> I'm wondering if this was a bad idea. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Did I just say hello? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Veos. And welcome back to SSRT Community Space Station. Blah, 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 blah. I don't have much time, so let me try to let me try to do this. First of all, I want you all to know that you guys are awesome. Absolutely awesome. This channel would not be what it is without you guys. In saying that, I don't have a whole lot of time during the day to make videos. I uh, probably have an hour or two before I go to bed. If that, hopefully if nothing's happening around the home. And then in the morning, I release the videos and then go to work for 8 to 10 hours a day. Come back, I'm exhausted, rinse and repeat. One of you were asking why I was taking, why don't I do multiple launches, and that's because of the fact that I don't have a whole lot of time. However, the person who said that did make a good point. The point that they made was that in making multiple launches, I could get things done quicker. In order for me to make multiple launches quick, I would need to literally have the craft file throw it into the cargo bay, then I could launch it and easily just attach it to the space station. This video that I'm making right now is going to be a rules and guidelines video for submitted crafts. And I realize, but some of you are like, Veos, come on, I just built my, built my craft, I sent it to you like five times already, I've redone it, I've, re I've revised it, i redesigned it. What more do you want, Veils? What more do you want? I understand a whole lot. Don't get me wrong. Redesigning and redesigning and redesigning and submitting and submitting and submitting can be tiresome. Trust me. I know. I know. So what I'm doing is I'm going to ask everyone for their patience, which I've probably exceeded by now. Your patience in listening to these rules, taking your design, refurbishing it, and then sending it to me. I see a sea of people right now rolling their eyes. <laughs> Trust me. I see a sea of people rolling their eyes. But why, why am I doing this? I am doing this so this... So all of this could be easier for me, we could get the station built faster, and I can pump out more videos, I can finish this SSRT community space station build. Because I am dealing with 40 some odd different crafts, coming on 50 actually, in order to make this easier on me, so that I can do multiple launches quicker in the least amount of time, is to have a craft file, one launch, one craft file per subscriber. Each craft has to be at least 40 parts or less. I know I said 45, but I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to cut a little bit of the slack off. Secondly, in order to make this easier for me, when I grab a part, I want to be able to grab the part, click the merge button, and be able to put it right into the cargo hold. I'll show you how to build a build something that allows me to do that. All right. So, real quick tutorial on how to do this, it's real simple, grab any probe core, normally this one would be a lot better, and then start building from that probe core. Uh, first of all, before we do anything, have the probe core, we want to grab a, da -da -da -da, some cargo bay, want this inside. The reason why I want it inside is because that means that this much clearance will be on either side, at least this much clearance. If you try to build the craft, so it's like, you know, tighter than a tick's ass, then basically what's going to happen is I'm going to have to go in and adjust it. Alright, so basically, you want to build your design, right? Alright, so this isn't pretty, but it's just a simple example. Then we go ahead and save the craft. I can grab your craft, merge it. Place it in there, take that, throw that away, like that, boom. Let's just uh, build a shuttle, right? Merge. Notice they're really, oh wait a minute, I might be able to, maybe I can do this, maybe? Ah, fuck me. Ugh. No! Damn it! Okay, anyway, like that, yeah, was it, was it like that, sort of? Alright. Also, I want to make sure that these aren't touching each other that the parts aren't touching each other if you're going to do something like this. But this would be an example of a very 
long build. I would spend a lot of time in orbit trying to piece this together using a tow vehicle. And it looks very complicated and it's going to take a long time. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I love the fact that, you know, this is very creative. Very, very creative. We're going to have to work on a tight time scale. So if you're going to submit something like this, I would prefer you submit, if you're going to submit some sort of flying device, notice I can't put this anywhere either because there is no green connector node. But see how it fits right in there? That could work. I could take something like this if you des if you desire to build a flying craft, some sort of escape vehicle or even shuttle. Um, take this vehicle and slap it in there, boom, done. Easy peasy, rice and cheese. If it's gonna, going to be in pieces, try to limit how many pieces there is to maybe four, three, or even two pieces. If it's five, six, seven, eight different pieces, I'm not. Um, I'm gonna have to skip it because of the fact that it's probably gonna take me way longer than several hours to put it together in space. <laughs> I want to apologize to everybody that I didn't make a video like this sooner. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking at all. It's okay to blame me for this. I'm learning. I've never done this before, this whole community thing going on. It's fun. Don't get me wrong, it's fun. We're probably going to do something like this again in the future. But I should really write down on a piece of paper somewhere, make instructional videos first. So, I have a bunch of craft files already. I've been downloading them from everywhere I can get my hands on. You have Twitter, you have Facebook, but the one I love the most is of course YouTube Messenger. Uh, it's a lot easier. If you have a YouTube account and if you're able to comment underneath my videos, then you're able to simply grab a link and message me that link. Done. If you've already built me something and you know that it's not going to be able to merge in there or the parts are too much or whatever, Go ahead and redesign it. Make sure it can fit. Um, make sure it follows all the rules that I've made in this video. And then send it to me again under the same name. I'll grab it. I'll throw it in the files. They'll ask me to copy and replace. I'll copy and replace it. Boom. Done. And we'll send it into orbit. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I went ahead and downloaded... Oxygen not included, and I absolutely love it. I will be playing it in the near future. But until then, let's go ahead and get this party started. I am Veos, and I'll see you all in the next video. Signing off.